Walk in beauty, it's all around you. Walk in beauty, let love surround you. Walk in beauty, make it around you. Walk in beauty with love for all. All right. So, welcome, welcome. This is the first of our Power and Beauty training series, and it's Women of Beauty and Power. And I'm so excited to be offering this to you. I've been sharing this with women around the world, and it's so exciting to be able to offer it in this way so that you all can catch up with it. I feel a little sad, really, because I, I mean, I just love dancing in circle with you. And those of you who have been with me personally <clears throat> know that that's just such a wonderful part of things. And for me, it's not just an extra, it's a it's an integral part of things because our intelligence is so connected to our, our movement and our bodies and to be embodied. You know, what I've always been about is embodying spirit. You know, a lot of people talk about, you know, or we think of spirit as like, we got to get out of our body and be all airy fairy and all perfect. And, uh, you know, and really what we're meant to do, creator gave us these bodies, the great mother gave us these bodies to be in and to bring spirit into them and to learn how to be in harmony with all of life uh, by being in a body. It's really an amazing opportunity to learn how to create and do so much more. <clears throat> so we are here to uh, really find out how to get in this body and have it be workable. And um, especially, you know, one of the reasons that I, have been doing this work with women is that I know that for most of us, we are doing both our grandfather's and our grandmother's work. We're not only handling the home and all of that, we're doing a lot, I mean, so much more than that. I like to ask my classes, um, and I'll just ask you, how many of you do a little bit of time taking care of yourself, you know, exercising, maybe buying good food, trying to take care of you personally. How many of you spend a little time every week doing that? And then um, let's see, there's um, taking care of, of your family. I don't know how many of you have kids, but that's kind of a little bit of a job. <clears throat> and then there's partnerships or relationships. If you have those or how many ever of them you have. Everybody spends a little time on that probably. And then there's, oh, <laughs> your home, your house, your laundry, your all of that. How many spend a little time on that or do you all have ha housemaids? <laughs> so, so then, oh, and then there's that little thing called 40 or 50 hours of work a week, right? How many of you are part-time or, you know, work, actually work, work outside the home or do whatever uh, kind of work? So, I mean, that's a lot. That's an incredible amount because working outside the home is like what your grandfather used to do. All the rest of it, your grandmother handled, but now you've got that. And then here's what's interesting. The Dalai Lama says, that Western women, you know, women like us, are going to be the saving of the world. Which means that in addition to all those things that you're doing that are already taking a good part of your time and making you probably feel like, oh, overwhelmed some of the time, you get to save the world. And I do believe that we women, the feminine, not just women, but the feminine in life is going to be what makes the difference. So what I want for you and what my intention is for you is to empower you in any way I can to give you all the hints and the tricks and everything that I can give you so that you can have your lives be more workable and easy in your own, you know, in your own personal life, and then be able to offer your gifts and your empowering energy into the world to make a difference in the world. Because I think that us fierce mother, take care of it, take care of the children, um, you know, take care of the earth kind of people are going to be what makes the difference on the earth. 
So we need to have the energy to do that. And uh, it's one reason that I uh, have created, although we didn't have enough men sign up to do it, um, I've created something called Men Standing Tall. And it, we're in the awakening time of the feminine now. And we need to find in ourselves the feminine energy. But, and if we don't get the men to find theirs and come along with us, we're not going to get anything done. So I'll talk to you more as we go along about seeing how we can get some of these guys involved in this process in the class that's just separate for them as I present things on down the line. So I want to give you tools and help in your own personal life. And uh, that's certainly my intention. <clears throat> so I want to actually begin our formal teaching here. And I'm going to do a smudge. I'm going to lay my feather down here for a minute. I've got some wonderful sage. And you know, one of the things we're going to learn when we talk about white buffalo woman is that she was way ahead of the quantum physicists in understanding that we are all connected across all time and space. So with that, with that quantum and holy connection, I'm sending this sage to you. And I'm asking that as I send this beautiful sage from Mother Earth that we all be able to release what it is we don't need right now. Just let everything go that's unnecessary for being right here right now. And I ask that I be a hollow bone to bring through the, the true wisdom and healing that comes right straight from the great mother and father creator. And so as we begin this today, I also dedicate this not only to you who are here and who will be listening, but I dedicate this to all the feminine, all the females, all the feminine beings on this whole earth that we might all be blessed through this work that each of us are doing together. So creator, great mother, we are so thankful for this day. We begin with happiness and with gratitude. Ho, Matakriyasin, all my relations. And by the way, I have this little crystal here that I set. Uh, those of you who have, were with me or um, you know, did this on your own um, will maybe have their little crystal. <clears throat> and the other thing I suggested, by the way, and I'm sorry I forgot that. Maybe Shannon Dory, you can help remind me uh, next time. Is that I suggested in the other class that we all bring water and to have a special chalice of water, not just that we're drinking individually now, which is what I have.